is that we are given if we are supposed to take input from the user and the user is supposed to enter the chain that is out the minimum number of coins that must be given against this change so against 0.41 the minimum number of change is 4 so to do that we are going to take input from the user so I'm going to take float dollars uh, float is the data type which allows us to use decimal points so and while what should happen is while the, the amount that is entered by the user if it's less than zero and ask the user for a dollar amount again and again and again and so what should I do here I should use get float here because I am supposed to get the change that is owed by the user right change that is owed do like this and then after doing this it's supposed to code this logic up what's being done here is you take 41 for instance 0 0.41 multiply that by 100 you get 41 and then what you do is you, while this number that you have let's call that cents so cents is essentially you take the input from the user and you multiply it by 100 and you have a variable coin the number of coins or coins over here so the number of coins start with zero and while so happens that cents is greater than or equal to 25 you keep on subtracting 25 from this right and then you have to increment the coins variable because you have you've used up one more coin Okay, so if you subtract 25 from here, you get 16. Can you subtract 25 again? You look back and you see, can I subtract 25 again from this? You say, no, because cents is actually 16, which is not greater than or equal to 25. So you exit out of this loop. So now what you need to do is you need to use the same logic with the next largest number, hence the name greedy. You take the, the largest number, then once you're done with it, take the next largest number, 10, and then take the next large number which is 5 and 1 and so on so essentially this is the logic and you start to code this up what's going to happen is let's complete this what's going to happen is you subtract 25 so you move on to the next piece of code which has the same kind of logic and you sub keep on subtracting 10 and then you have the next line of code and then you have the next line of code next block of code which is subtract so you subtract 10 here you get 6 you subtract 5 here you get 1 and you subtract 1 here you get 0 so you have the same logic you just keep on subtracting that denomination until it is less than 25 or less than that denomination and then you move on and you perform the same operation the same logic is used on the next denomination and so on so you need to write this five four times so essentially you need to copy paste this four times apparently this isn't a very good design okay but we'll write this code anyways and check for correctness this is not this is bad design but we're still going to write this so that so we are so at least we have something which is working okay so i'm going to say int number of so i'm going to multiply the dollar amount by 100 i'm going to say cents equals int round dollars times 100 and the bad design part is over here what i'm going to do is coins is one number of coins right now the number of coins required is zero in the beginning and then i say well since it's less than or equal to 20 greater than or equal to 25 right this logic over here i keep on subtracting the value from cents and i increment coins by one well you're going to do the same thing for these Four denominations, right? Starting from the largest to the smallest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, two, 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 two. And then once you've done this, it should probably work. I'm going to say printf backslash i, which is integer, followed by a new line, and then we have coins over here. For this, we can make cash, and then okay, we have a semicolon missing over here, and a semicolon missing over here. Let's see. Oops, round this function requires, I think it requires math.h. That's given over here. I'm going to use hash include math.h. Okay. So I'm just going to say make cash. And it uh, sort of works for this example. If you take another example, let's say 0.5. Then two because you can use two twenty five dollars two twenty five cents right so this sort of bad is and how can we improve it instead of copying pay, copy pasting these this code so we so this can be improved slightly using 
a different sort of logic which is similar to what's going on here we'll be keeping on we'll be subtracting this denomination value again and again and again uh, what is repeated subtraction actually if you think about it division is repeated subtraction right division is the same as repeated subtraction so what we can do here is ins here is instead of you know subtracting this value from here what you can do here is you can just remove this and you can just take whatever is left over so I, if, you, if you use this mod operator if you say mod equals 25 what's going to happen is you're going to divide 41 by 25 and then whatever is left over after dividing it that is going to be an updated value of cents okay so we can use this logic and what is the value of coins going to be coins is going to be whatever the cents value is divide this by the denomination 25 okay now this logic has to be repeated for 10 and for 5 as well as you can see the same logic has to be repeated for the number 5 and for the number 10 so we are dividing it by 5 saying how many times you can subtract 5 and then whatever the remaining we are saying that is the value of cents so how do we you want me to code this up let's code it up if we code this up we have to essentially using this we have improved the design a little bit with the sense what sense of instead of subtracting we're going to divide this by sense equals whatever or coins is going to be equal to sense divided by whatever sense you have divided by 25 here and then we we'll update the value of sense updating the value of sense by taking whatever is left over after taking the remainder of 25 okay and this thing has to be repeated for you know this thing has to be repeated for 10 and 5 and 1 as you can see this is not the best way of writing code because you got to copy paste it so many times and if there's a, a, a some problem in any one of the parts say if you copy paste something and you don't change the two numbers you can you only remember to change one of them and you're going to have a bug in the code so i think this should still work but might just sort of have a lot of redundancy not error so it might work oh this is not working the reason it's not working is because we have to increment the value of coins by since instead of just equal that right it's gonna say make cash i'm just gonna say it's 20 to 0.41 and if I say 0 0.5 0 0.5 this is going to be equal to 2 so yes we are going to instead of saying coins is equal to this there's an error over here it should be plus equals right we want to increment the value of coins by this amount okay so it's st still bad design because you have to repeat this four times so how can you Im improve the design well, to improve the design here's what we can do we can use the you can use an array over here we can have all the denominations over here and you're going to use 25 10 5 and 1 and instead of using the same structure what we can do here instead of writing this four times we can generalize the code and we can write this four over here okay but then the problem of writing 4 over here is that this is a magic number. When you read this code again, you won't understand what 4 is. So instead of doing this, what we can do here, we can write size which is equals 4 here so that we understand what's going on here. And whenever you change anything up here and up here, you can you don't need to change it over here. So let's make cache away. Make cache right now. So dot slash cache. That's 0.41 this is whoa what just happened 
what just happened is when you, when you saying coins is sent divided by 25 just dividing by 25 so we must the denominations of i and so we will loop from the starting and you can use to hit all the values over here okay so yes let's make cash let's loss as dot slash cash 0 0.41 4 0 0.5 we get 2 this should be working and you can still improve the code what if we want to change something over here then you have to change something this value also what you can do here is instead of doing this you can use something fairly advanced what you can do here is instead of just hard coding this value you can say you know what i need this size of the denominations divided by the size of an integer so what's happening here we're taking the size of an array this array divided by the size of the individual elements to give me the number of elements so just to be clear what i'm doing here is i'm taking the size of this for example this should be four 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 each integer is of four bytes in general but i don't want to hard code that value and i'm taking another size which is the size of an integer so size of an integer which is typically four and then size of this array so the denominations array which is going to be i don't know how much but it's going to be four times four right so when you take four times four size of the denomination is four times four when you divide this by four so four times four divided by four you get four this is the size so now what is the advantage of this the advantage of this is once you change something like you can add another denomination like 50 over here you only need to change it once we've written one of the best designed code for the solution right you can and now if you want you can comment down below with more such solutions if you feel that you have a better solution or even a different solution than what i have presented over here so let's try and make this one more time make cash and I'm just going to check run check 50 on this run check 50 and after this we can be sure that we have written a correct code so just to summarize what's happening here is we are trying to first take in the, the dollar amount from the user and then you're asking for that amount again and again until you get a valid input okay from the user then you're multiplying this by 100 and then you're setting the number of coins to be zero and so you are dividing whatever the, the sense amount you have with by the denominations of i which is the largest number so far you're dividing it by that and you're incrementing coins by that amount okay and in sense what you're doing is you're keeping an updated value of sense which says you can update sense by you know, taking whatever is remaining so the remaining thing the remainder part is retrieved by using this operator mod so if you look at the output of check 50 it's pretty much correct but that's pretty much it like, share, and subscribe. Peace.